I promise that I'm not trying to steer the pot or anything. It's just that I saw a few things on Twitter that didn't sit right with me. I just want to express my opinion, not cancel anyone or spread hate. James Charles is in trouble again. There was a black woman on TikTok expressing how she would never let her son wear a dress. He's not going to wear a dress. Even though the world laughs at it, scoffs at it, mocks at it, makes you feel bad. When you are a parent, you decide what is acceptable in your household. The same way Eliana is not gonna be walking around looking like she's grown when she's 13 years old. It's not acceptable. My husband does not wear dresses. My son is not gonna wear dresses. As a parent, I decide what I want my children to do until my children become of age. When he's 18 years old, then he can go about his business and do whatever he chooses to do because he is an adult. The Bible says train up your child in the way he should go. And a lot of parents are shirking this duty to, to be hip, you know, to be cool, um, to look a certain way for people on social media. And I'm never going to do that. I'm going to raise my children to what I believe is biblically solid. And whether they choose to follow that or reject that when they get older, that's perfectly up to them. James Charles left a comment under her TikTok saying, don't have children, please. The lady proceeded to respond with this TikTok. Hi, James Charles. So I saw your whole situation with Trish and I thought, oh, okay, makes sense. He can defend himself. But then for you to turn around and do something very similar to me is just very hypocritical of you. How's that hypocritical? He can't express his opinion. He just gave a classic sassy response to you. I think we've all seen someone expressing their opinion and someone else highly disagreeing with their opinion responding with please never reproduce or please never have kids. I've seen you pop up on my feed millions of times and um, I've never once thought it was appropriate to harass you or wish some unkindness upon you for your lifestyle. He's not harassing you though. He left one comment with his opinion. He didn't say hi sister, send hate to this TikTok user. So for you to call it harassment is way off. As for wishing unkindness upon you, it's a freaking copy pasted sassy phrase. It is crazy to me that there are literal child molesters out there, people who beat and starve their kids, and you all are so pressed because I say that it's not acceptable in my house for my son to wear a dress. I'm going to continue to parent the way I see fit in my household, James Charles, because this is my household. And just because you're a celebrity on the internet with millions of followers is not going to change my mind. My foundation is stronger than man's approval. So carry on, James. Whoa, whoa, you put your business out here. No one came into your business. You put it out here. I also despise it when people say things like millions of people die every day and you're so worried about what I'm doing. So if I rob a bank, I shouldn't get arrested because why should people be so concerned about what I'm doing, guys, when there's children dying every day? We can be concerned about the children and still publicly disagree with your opinions. They're not mutually exclusive. And if we always thought about the bad stuff in the world constantly, we'd probably die of anguish. You're just deflecting. How much you want to bet that she has thousands of comments disagreeing with her, but out of all of them, the only one that's harassment and hypocritical is James Charles's because people love to cancel him. Any of us would have made that don't have children comment if we disagreed with someone. I don't get why it's so different when James Charles makes it. I also want to point out that James Charles deleted the comment. People were saying, oh, if he stood by his word, then why did he delete his comment? He probably deleted his comment because he didn't want to get more backlash or stir more drama. If he would have kept the comment up, people would have been like, oh, James Charles is really bold today. People are never satisfied. As you saw from the title, we're also going to talk about Deaf Noodles. Where does he come into play? Well, he tweeted a poll where he insinuated that James called out the black lady in the TikTok and dragged Alicia Keys because they're black. He labels these as racist microaggressions. Seriously? The language that Deaf Noodles use definitely frames it in a way that leads you to think that those are cases of microaggression. How could you not pick that this is microaggression when Deaf Noodles outlines that James Charles didn't call out white women for starting a beauty line but did call out the only black woman? And then Deaf Noodles also says that James told an African American woman not to have kids without any context or bringing up that James was responding to her opinion and that race wasn't a factor in this case. He did link the videos below the poll but more people will see the poll rather than the poll and the videos. Plus, he never linked information to the Alicia Keys information. The poll is very much one-sided and obviously skewed the results to be more against James Charles. I will now tell you why I don't think that James Charles was being microaggressive towards Alicia Keys nor the black woman in the TikTok. What happened with Alicia Keys was that an article came out titled Alicia Keys is starting a beauty line and James and Manny MUA got all pissy and shaded Alicia on Twitter. I'm not gonna read Manny's tweets because we're talking about James. James's shady tweet reads, people who do not wear makeup should not be coming out with makeup brands but that's just my opinion. Alicia publicly announced in the past that she wasn't gonna wear makeup anymore, she was just gonna go natural. Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, and Selena Gomez never publicly said that they were gonna quit wearing makeup or never wear makeup. 
This is probably why James didn't shade them, because if Alicia sold makeup while not being interested in wearing makeup herself, then it all feels more cash grabby than it would if she just wore makeup. However, it turned out that the beauty line Alicia was releasing was a skincare line, not a makeup line, so it perfectly fit with her makeup-free lifestyle. James and Manny MUA apologized to her. I think that it's wrong to assume that James just called out Alicia Keys because she's black. I think it was more of James not liking that someone that doesn't wear makeup is trying to sell makeup. He should have read the article before trying to shade her, but he wasn't being microaggressive in my opinion. Moving on to the black woman's TikTok, her name is Hannah by the way. Death Noodles worded it as he told an African American TikToker not to have kids. Which oh my goodness, it sounds terrible worded like that. It reminds me of I think Denmark trying to encourage white people to have children while actively discouraging black people from having children. I highly doubt that the woman's race had anything to do with James telling her not to have kids. It was her take that prompted him to say this, not her race. What did her race have to do with how she said she would raise her children? Nothing. James didn't attack her looks or give her any threats, he just responded to her viewpoint with the sassy copy paste. Is Dev Noodles implying that since this woman is black, James shouldn't express that he disagrees with her? Pardon me, but that sounds ridiculous. James wasn't being microaggressive toward neither of these women. There's no point of this poll because the results are so skewed that it's practically useless. Dev Noodles tweeted this. Pause to read because I'm kinda tired. I think that James tweeted this purely to defend his friend. I also feel like parents not allowing their children to express themselves is where James Charles draws the line as far as not telling people how to raise their children as he is a gay man and those kinds of issues are more personal to him. Should he have tweeted, don't tell people how to raise their kids unless they're telling their son that they can't wear a dress? This has nothing to do with anyone's race. Not even the woman in the TikTok accused James of being racist towards her. Dust Noodles does think that he was being racist towards her though so he continues by tweeting this to read. He points out that James is white and that the woman is black as if that has anything to do with this. I bet my non-existent balls that James would have called out this woman if she was white. Death Noodles continues tweeting. Pause to read. Laura's race is white but her ethnicity is Hispanic. She's a minority just like the African American woman is. James didn't just defend a white woman, he defended a minority. I'm only bringing this up because Death Noodles' next tweet says that James Charles hasn't defended people of other ethnicities besides Caucasian, yet Laura is Hispanic. He thinks that James only stands up for the majority and not the minority, yet he did stand up for the minority in the instance that he's trying to use against James. James wasn't being racist in these instances, but do you know who's being racist right now, Death Noodles? You. This tweet sums it up, and I'll read it for y'all since y'all are probably tired now. And the idea that he shouldn't be able to call someone out because they're African American is racist. You're saying black people should be treated differently and not held to the same standards as everyone else. You said James should have never held this woman accountable because she's black and he's white. That's racist. You're trying to discriminate based on race and are saying that black people shouldn't be held accountable simply because they're black. It's not called minorityism, it's not called blackism, it's called racism. Trying to throw a white man James under the bus for being sassy to a person he disagrees with who just happens to be a black woman is racist. If James was a black guy, Death Noodles would probably be calling him sexist. If James was a black woman, Death Noodles wouldn't have said crud. There's this rampant racism toward white people and sexism toward men that has led people to say ludicrous things like black people can't be racist or women can't be sexist. I want to let you guys in on a little secret. The people who say that they've never been racist or that they can't be racist and actually believe that are very racist. You ever watched Utopia? If you haven't, you should. I'm about to talk about one of the themes, so beware. A scene that highlights Utopia's themes is the one where Nick the fox asks Judy the money is she's afraid that he might go savage and Judy replies something like of course not you're my friend but then Nick starts growling and acts like he's about to attack her so Judy takes out her fox spray. What this scene is saying is that we all have a little racism within us and if we don't continuously and consciously work on that racism then it will manifest into the real world and hurt those around us. I also want to note that in Zootopia the herbivores were oppressed slash dominated by the carnivores but after animals started becoming more civilized and cases of predators going savage started popping up, the herbivores began oppressing the carnivores. It's an interesting allegory, I recommend watching the movie. Back to the point, we all have a little racism within us, but what makes the difference between someone who's racist and someone who's not racist is that someone who's not racist is conscious of their biases and constantly works on them and doesn't repeat racist behaviors. On the other hand, someone who is racist repeats this behavior and doesn't try to correct their biases. 
There's definitely more to that since it's complicated to outline what makes someone racist because I'm pretty sure we've all had racist thoughts at some point in our lives. However, someone who says that they can't be racist or that they have never been racist obviously isn't consciously trying to correct their biases and make changes. Therefore, they keep those biases and stay racist. You can be racist to white people. I don't care if you're a minority. Your race and slash or ethnicity doesn't give you a pass to not work on your biases. Next time, let's do better than this. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna call out James Charles for his careless mistakes and trying to excuse his racist behavior. How about we start with how he supported Dixie dancing to Trisha saying the n-word. Now, Dixie apologized and said that she shouldn't have done that, so I think that James Charles and the other people who encouraged Dixie, like Tana Mojo, should apologize too, but in TikToks, and that's where the stuff went down. Like, put out a TikTok statement apologizing for encouraging Dixie's behavior. Racist stuff that James said as a teen have also resurfaced. James said that these things were not said maliciously, which, what? When you're 17 years old, you know that racism is bad and what it is. Maybe he really was just ignorant, but so what? Ignorant Ignorance can still hurt people and one shouldn't use it as an excuse if someone does get hurt. James has apologized in the past for these statements but him trying to excuse his behavior now isn't validating these apologies in a way. If you know that you did wrong and have apologized for it then why are you making excuses now? You should have just said that you apologized before and then apologized again. Something similar to this happened to Bremen Rock. Videos of Bremen saying the n-word resurfaced and Bremen's response was that he regrets doing that, that he has apologized in the past and is apologizing again, and that he asked people to cancel 15 year old Bremen Rock, not him today. His response sounded like less of an excuse than James's. Bremen's response sounds more remorseful and more like a statement rather than a clapback. However, Bremen still said that he was just an ignorant piece of crap at 15 and that's not who he is now and that's kind of what James is implying with his clapback slash statement. James apologized for this comment, except that that was racist, don't do it again and show that you've changed. Some people may be like, hypocrite, what about Jeffree Star? He apologized for his racism and you still think he's racist? First of all, where is his apology to Jackie Aina for calling her a gorilla? Second of all, where is his apology for using Elijah McClain and Breonna Taylor's name to deflect from criticism? Most importantly, where is his growth? Someone said in an interview that Jeffree uses the n-word daily. He hasn't denied this allegation and I don't think he cares. Even Rich Lux kind of admitted that Jeffrey is racist and tried to defend him for it. Imagine standing a racist. Well, girl, you know what? First of all, and not that he is. But if he was, and ain't nothing wrong with being a racist, girl. I don't hate Jeffrey Star, okay? I used to love watching compilations of him shading Kylie's skin and thought he was really funny until all these things about him started resurfacing and I saw that he hadn't changed at all. I don't hate him, but I do hate his actions and I do think that he needs to take accountability, like seriously. He also needs to respond to the sexual assault allegations made against him. And if those allegations happen to be true, you better believe that I'm gonna be advocating for him to face consequences. So no, I'm not being biased. I don't know any of these people. I don't even watch James Charles. I'm not a stan and I'm obviously not on anyone's payroll. That's all I got for today. Bye.